After the holidays, the new year seems to drag on. 2024 started the same. Back to work, back to the rhythm. Patiently waiting for the calls of Pacific tree frogs to arrive. Unknown whether the winter will continue to be mild in the Pacific Northwest, or perhaps March will bring another unexpected cold snap of snow. It's been a few years since I graduated high school. The adult life seems almost normal to me now. Myself, as well as my neighborhood, have grown up. The farms are all gone, and so is most of the forest. The 7-Eleven closed down. I wonder where the new generation of kids will grab Slurpees before heading to the playground. Most all cracks on the roads remain the same and unfixed from years of wear. The puddles still form in the same places when it rains. I've memorized where the deepest ones are for puddle jumping. All the water runoff still leads to the local salmon-bearing stream. Most people I've talked to in my neighborhood are unaware of the fish. My town is already developing too much for my liking. I never was much of a city person. As a kid, I was clueless of where I wanted my life to go. Mostly stereotypical dreams of going to school and owning a house. And if you asked me ten years ago in high school, I would have said, I'll become a herpetologist. At the time, I had tried making a herping YouTube channel and fantasized about becoming a wealthy YouTuber. Hey everyone, Linda Ben here. Um, just wanted to show you guys the frogs I found. It's definitely spring. Um, there was just two here, but I looked away and one jumped away. I'm like, okay. Which never went far. I was convinced nearing graduation I would work in funeral homes as an embalmer, and when it came time to apply, I never did. Everyone told me to pursue an art career, even getting a scholarship towards post-secondary because of my talent. I never used it. Life seemed to take me places where I least expected it to. After quitting my pizza job that got me through school, I ended up spending the next four years in an aerospace shop, doing metalwork and learning basic shop duties taking my weekends and days off to enjoy nature and fishing. Yeah. Helping my dad film and just enjoying being me. <laughs> Way to go! I never expected 2023 to turn out how it did. Somehow just living my life and being myself landed a job co-hosting with Fishing with Rod, who saw my father's YouTube uploads. Yeah. yeah, we were just on a very windy, twisty road. We bought Subway. We stayed overnight in Campbell River. I have no clue really what to expect. We're fishing for a Chinook tonight, and that's halibut it. Our ha tomorrow. Yeah, halibut and lingcod tomorrow. Hippoglossus stenolepis. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. 2023 brought so many firsts. Ocean fishing on a boat. Ice fishing. So many new species of fish and personal bests. I branched off to new ways of fishing instead of just the fly. I upgraded my video and photography skills and film editing. I can finally see a future I thought was too unattainable in the beginning. I finally am feeling after five years my life is progressing into everything I ever wanted it to be. People and pets have come and gone throughout the years. Each one leaving lasting memories, whether being good or bad. Hello everyone, and this is my budgie taco. <laughs> I thank everyone for the support. I'm no huge influencer, but I'm happy with my few fans that continue to watch and comment nice things. I thank Fishing with Rod for everything he's taught me and helped me with this year. Okay, you're right, it gets worse. <laughs> I told you. And of course, all my friends and family who always believed in me and got me through the tough times. Oh, Tim! Look at that! It's beautiful! That's on the fly ride, boys. Oh, when the saints go marching, oh, I want to be. Go 
I hope to make 2024 and all the years to come better than the last. To share my journey with everyone through my videos, I plan to better myself, become stronger, happier, healthier, spread more love, spread more knowledge, learn more myself, create more art, and just continue to be my weird self I have always been. They're making my money diminish. I'm sick of the taste of champagne. Thank God when I'm skinned to a finish, I'll pike to the Yukon again. I'll fight, and it's a no-sham fight, it's hell. But I've been there before, and it's better than this by a damn sight.